कंसिडर यू आर मूविंग टू द न्यू हाउस और मूविंग टू द न्यू जॉब लोकेशन नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू एडजस्ट विद दिस न्यू एनवायरमेंट नेचुरली यू स्टार्ट मेकिंग सम चेंजेस विद इन यूर सेल्फ मे बी यू स्टार्ट चेंजिंग योर रूटीन यू मे चेंज योर वे ऑफ वर्किंग और यू मे बी स्टार्ट थिंकिंग इन अ डिफरेंट वे इन अदर वर्ड्स दीज चेंजेस आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज एडेप्टेशंस Animals or plants are making constant changes within themselves according to the ever changing environment of the earth. So basically, animals or plants are adapting to the environment to be fit to survive. Adaptations are the special features developed in animals or plants which help them to survive in their natural habitat. There are various reasons due to which animals and plants have developed these features. For example, temperature changes availability of food resources and so on and these are mainly classified in three types physical adaptations which means the changes the organism has made through the course of evolution in its external organs physiological adaptations means the changes the organism has made in its internal functions or metabolism and the third type is behavioral adaptations means the change in the behavior of an organism to fulfill its needs the best example of it is migration in birds these adaptations or features are passed on to the next generation in the form of inherited characters in this video as an example of physical adaptations let's explore some adaptations in ducks Ducks have various aquatic adaptations that help them thrive in water environments and one of the most important adaptation in ducks is webbed feet. Ducks have webbed feet means their toes are connected by a membrane of skin. It acts as a paddle allowing ducks to move easily and quickly through water. This structure creates a large surface area making swimming more efficient. Ducks have specialized feathers that are designed to repel water. These feathers are covered with tiny hook-like structures that interlock and create a barrier which prevents the water from reaching the bird's skin. Ducks have air-filled bones and air sacs located throughout their bodies which makes body buoyant. This buoyancy helps them to float on the water surface. It allows them to dive underwater without needing to spend too much energy to remain underwater. Ducks have a streamlined body shape which reduces drag in water and enables them to move swiftly. One of the very important feature is the oil glands or uropygial glands. These glands are located near the base of the tail. The uropygial glands produce oil that ducks spread over their feathers. This oil maintains feathers waterproofing and flexibility. Waterproof feathers are crucial for insulation and buoyancy in water. Ducks that spend more time in the water have larger glands and produce more oil to maintain their waterproofing. This adaptation is particularly crucial for species that dive for extended periods. Ducks have a transparent third eyelid called the nictitating membrane. This membrane helps protect their eyes while swimming underwater. It allows them to see clearly even when they are underwater. These adaptations collectively allow ducks to thrive in various aquatic habitats. And that's how the adaptations make an organism fit to thrive in its habitat. Back. 